Hello, my name is Ryan Smith, and I'm an application scientist with Perkin Elmer. Today we're going to talk about the Frontier Optica. The Frontier Optica represents years of infrared experience and incorporates several design benefits, which make it an ideal instrument for measurement of high refractive index materials. These sorts of materials are commonly found in the optics industry and are used as a, uh, in a variety of functions, such as laser optics, uh, infrared detector, windows, etc. The design benefits are incorporated in the system to prevent measurement of light which is back reflected by the sample. The sample is placed here in the sample compartment within the Frontier Optica for measurement. In ordinary FTIR systems which do not incorporate these sorts of design benefits, some portion of the incident light on the sample can actually pass back into the interferometer. This causes inaccuracy in measurements and affects the final result. However, the Frontier Optica incorpor incorporates a series of hardware features which are also controlled within the software interface, allowing optimization of experimental parameters to achieve optimal accuracy in transmission measurements. One fantastic example of measurement is with germanium. Germanium has a very high infrared refractive index in the neighborhood of 4, which causes a high amount of light to actually be reflected back towards the interferometer during measurement. Now the measurement process, as with any other FTIR, proceeds in a two-step fashion. The first step being a background measurement, the second step being sample measurement. Now during the background measurement, the sample compartment is left open without a sample in place. During sample measurement, the sample is placed in a holder. This allows the infrared light to pass through the sample for the sake of measurement. To understand further the benefits of the Frontier Optica and Perkin Elmer's proprietary technology, let's take a closer look at the spectral data that we've just measured. Looking at the spectrum here, you'll notice we perform the measurement with the sample compartment open. This allows atmospheric water vapor and CO2 to enter the infrared beam path which would cause the appearance of spectral features associated with those two vapors in the infrared spectrum. However, Perkin Elmer's AVC technology, or atmospheric vapor correction technology, automatically subtracts these spectral features out of the measured spectrum, requiring no user intervention to provide a high level of accuracy with the minimal level of effort. Let's look at the long wavelength end of the spectrum as well. For one sample in particular, zinc sulfide, we find that there is a cutoff here towards the long wavelength end of the spectrum. You notice here that the spectrum does actually drop to zero beyond our cutoff here. This tells us that there is no spurious transmittance as a result of the high refractive index of the material. Ordinarily, when testing samples of this type on an FTIR which is not equipped with these sorts of design benefits, we may see transmittance values which actually taper up or which do not actually drop towards 0% at this point. As with Perkin Elmer's other FTIR technologies, sampling accessories are interchangeable in the Frontier Optica. Replacement of sampling accessories is quick and easy. This allows users to tailor the instrument to a variety of experimental requirements. The system is now set up for specular reflectance measurements of samples. Thank you for joining us today for this presentation of the capabilities and technology of Perkin Elmer's Frontier Optica. For more information, please contact your local sales representative. Thank you for your time.